With the increasing number of kidney transplant recipients, it is not uncommon for these patients to present with gynecologic pathology for which laparoscopic surgery may be indicated. Intra-abdominal adhesions are not a concern since the most common approach for kidney transplantation is extraperitoneal. Pneumoperitoneum has not been shown to affect the long-term function of the transplanted kidney. A minimally invasive approach is appealing since these patients are on immunosuppressive medication and wound healing is a concern. Accurate diagnosis of a pelvic cystic mass in kidney transplant patients is important. Differential diagnoses include ovarian cysts, adnexal abscesses, and, particular to the transplant population, lymphocyte formation. This is a common complication and occurs in up to 18% of cases. The kidney is commonly transplanted in the right or left iliac fossa. The ureter is implanted in the bladder and the renal vessels are anastomosed to the external iliac vessels. This is the case of a 54-year-old kidney transplant recipient who presented to the emergency department with complaints of severe lower abdominal pain and nausea. She had a history of hypertension with end-stage renal disease. After six years of dialysis, she received a kidney transplant in the right iliac fossa. She was on multiple immunosuppressive medications. On admission, she was afebrile and her vitals were normal. Her abdomen was soft but tender. A large mass occupied the lower abdomen and extended to the umbilicus. Her pregnancy test was negative and a C8125 was normal. 